Not a moment wasted, says Mark Drakeford. Well, the World Cup in particular has been used as a platform where cultural and at some points political opinions have been voiced. One particular instance saw Iran's players refuse to sing the national anthem ahead of their 6-2 loss against England, showing solidarity with nationwide protests back home against the regime. And it seems like that confrontation has spilled over now into Qatar. Simon Harding was on the ground outside the Ahmad bin Ali Stadium and caught pro-Iranian government protesters harassing demonstrators against the government. Using an event on the world's biggest stage in front of the eyes of the entire globe to get their message heard, to make their voices known. That is what many Iranian supporters who are anti-government are using this Qatar tournament to do. We spoke with many of them who were wearing uh, slogans such as women, life, uh, freedom, following the death of uh, Moshe Amini, a uh, young Iranian woman, and then the months of turmoil that have followed in uh, Iran. Support who many of them live outside of the country and who say that they are speaking for the rest of the Iranian population because those who live in Iran are being silenced uh, by the government. And we, in fact, were able to talk to some of those Iranian supporters who have traveled from Tehran who said that they did not want to speak to us because of fears that it would create problems for them back home. For those who were willing to speak, they said that they would protest no matter what. Are you not afraid that they're going to take away your T-shirts, yeah, your yeah, flag? Yeah, going to cover it. If they take away my T-shirt, I'm going to go there naked. What are they going to do? When people are being brutally killed in the street, when kids, 10-year-old killed, 8-year-old killed, 13-year-old killed, are being brutally killed in the street, soccer does not have any meaning. We are not here for soccer. We are here for proving that we can be people voice and we need to be people voice and we need everyone in the world to be people people voice even though i'm not living in iran as you see i have to wear mask and i have to wear glasses because i don't want them to recognize me so yeah it's happening it's actually the oppression is very bad and people like they are in jail they kill them they rape them in the jail especially when i'm talking about women we don't want that to happen to us. I want to go back to my country one day. Just a few moments ago, we were forced to move away from the bulk of the supporters, which you can see behind me as we witnessed a quite surreal scene different clans, different sets of supporters clashing in front of the stadium over flags, over T-shirts, over messages being sent. Pro-Iranian uh, supporters who were chanting in Iranian, who were chanting Islamic Republic of Iran. Uh, clashes that uh, sometimes turned violent between uh, supporters. A, a very tense situation here and a mirror image really of what is going on in the country as both sets of beliefs uh, come clashing here in Qatar 2022. One pro-Iranian supporter did agree to speak to us and said that Iranian issues had to be dealt with internally by the Iranian people. If I want to say very briefly and very surely, this is an internal issue between us and we absolutely we don't like to share it with anybody else. And we will solve it very soon. But this is a wrong action if somebody is protesting outside their country for their internal issue. It's totally wrong. And amidst all this chaos, there is the Iranian national football team themselves, of course, who have to try and navigate this very delicate minefield. They are very aware of the tensions that are going on in their country, very aware of the tensions that are going on outside the stadium. They themselves refused to sing the national anthem and are now being used as a symbol by both the pro-regime supporters and anti-regime supporters as an example uh, to follow, a situation which is quite volatile here at times and which as far as Iran goes until they remain in the tournament a situation that we can say with quite some certainty is not going anywhere.